Hello again. Uh, I just wanted to do a quick video here to talk about cleaning your brush. I know it seems like a simple thing. You would, you know, might take your brush and just lick it until the uh, paint comes off. And for a quick color change, that's not too bad. But did you know that you can actually get more paint off of it if you put your bristles up against the side of the cup? And twist. You don't want to, you can see I'm giving it just a bit of an angle here. Not a lot. Really, you know, just enough to bend them a bit. And then when you're looking at the side of the cup, if you have a glass cup, assuming, uh, you can actually see the paint coming off. Then, when you're done there, I keep a paper towel around so that I can dry it off but also same twisting motion and I can see if there's any more paint coming off and I see that there is none so I don't need to do anything else and I'm ready to go uh, for my next color but what about when you're done for the day and you want to make sure that your brush is really clean well that's when I use this is uh, the masters brush cleaner soap and you can just use any old soap for this but um, I bought this years ago and as you can see it doesn't wear out very quickly so uh, you can keep this on hand in your toolbox and it's self-contained and you don't have to worry about it making a mess. So anyway uh, I just put a little water on the brush and I'm doing the same twisting motion on the bristles here and the artists, fine artists, like to use the palm of the hand to uh, create a uh, foam to really lather it up and work the paint out of it and I kind of like that you can s really see what's going on and it's getting nice and clean and then again you can get the excess off of there a little bit of water if, th if this is your last uh, cleaning of the day don't rinse all the, all the, the soap off don't rinse, rinse all the soap off. If you leave a little bit on there and then uh, shape the brush into a tip and then set it aside, the soap will dry and it'll hold that shape and you know to essentially help keep the uh, the bristles conditioned to stay in the position you want them to be. And then you can just you know do whatever you do with your brush at the end of the night. Uh, if you find that you have a brush that you think is dead that you want to bring back to life and maybe get a little bit more use out of it um, say perhaps you accidentally left a little paint on it and you think it's done uh, well then you can use this this is Winsor Newton brush cleaner and restorer it says for dried acrylic and oil color now I normally use this as a paint stripper for getting paint off of models um, it's really it's it's not as uh, caustic as some of the other things you can use this is actually non-toxic biodegradable water soluble um, and it, does, it has no smell uh, but man don't get it on your tongue <laughs> anyway it's uh, uh, it's really powerful stuff and so I actually keep this is a uh, like a brush cleaning uh, I don't know bucket and um, it has this little holder here that you can use to um, suspend your brushes over it and normally I just I'll put some on there on the on the tip of the brush and then let it sit just inside the liquid um, and you can let it sit like that overnight and then uh, the next day you bring it out to your paper towel and do the same thing you know the same sort of twisting motion and really what you're trying to do is well you know getting the paint out of it but the paint tends to collect right at the ferrule right where it goes in there and you can see how I'm actually able to get paint out of, out of there. 
um, you can even apply some pressure this way and you can see that that's even squeezed out more of the old paint now this is actually you know I'm not too worried about this brush because this is really my my work brush for mixing paint and such so you know I can be as uh, harsh to this one as I want and if it if I mess it up I can just throw it away I'm not too concerned about it so you want to be more careful with your good brushes obviously but if the, if you get to the point where one of your uh, good brushes needs to go in this stuff because you think uh, you may have screwed it up don't expect it to come completely back to life um, you may get uh, a little bit more usable life to it if uh, if it comes to that but don't expect it to be brand new again it doesn't do that <laughs> Um, and that's pretty much it. It's, I, I, it is one of those questions I get periodically. People ask, you know, what's the best way to clean the brush? This is how I do it. Um, color change in the water. By the way, I do sometimes put uh, a little drop of liquid detergent in my water just to help in the, uh, you know, the color change cleaning part. Um, but otherwise, just water is fine. This is just water here. Um, and then soap and as a last resort the brush cleaner fluid uh, one last thing never do that never don't do that bad bad that's it I'll talk to you later